What's up, y'all? It's your boy Eric Flo for me, live from the homeless shelter. And, you know, I feel like I'm back in my 2020 bag for me. Y'all seen the intro. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, You know, I remember, you know, it was people complaining about how long my intro was back in 2020. And it was kind of getting in my head a little bit because I was worried about losing subscribers. I wanted to just, you know, you know, appease to my, you know, consumers, the people that consume my content. And, you know, people was talking crazy to me and all that about, oh, it's too long, whatever. And I just ended up getting rid of it. Um, And I regret doing that, which is why I brought it back. You know, I'm definitely a lot more strong-minded than I used to be in the past. And you can do your homework and see it for yourself, which is why I'm recording from this very specific angle that I'm gracious enough to have. Because this angle, for those that have been watching my content long enough, should bring back memories. If you know, you know. Now, it's a few things I want to talk about, I guess, for my first video of the new year. One thing that I am so thankful for is that I've been documenting my journey for four years. And the reason why I say four years is because 2019, I had an Instagram account and I would post Instagram stories of myself, you know, talking certain gems, saying certain things. I was doing this even before I had a platform. The few followers that I did have I was still on the same type of time that I'm on now. Anytime I think it's something positive to say or, or something that I feel like dudes ain't doing on the internet, just talking about stuff that has value, I was doing that. Making videos in the homeless shelter I was in in 2019, eating Popeyes, I came a long way because now I'm doing things like going in restaurants like Chipotle and Sweet Greens, asking them questions like, hey, yo, excuse me, um, what kind of oil do y'all use to prepare, you know, everything right here? That I got choices to put in my bowl and all that. Shorty was like, oh, we use sunflower oil. And I'm like, oh, what? Or? Like, oh, what you allergic or something? I say, yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, you wouldn't understand. You know, I've done my I've been doing my homework on things like seed oils. If you know, you know. Talk about it in the comments for the people that don't know. Because see, a lot of y'all that's on a carnivore diet, I want to tell y'all something. It's not about what you eat. It's about how it was made. That's even more important than being a vegan, being carnivore, being vegetarian. Right? Taking things into perspective, man, we not even gonna get too deep into that. But I need y'all to understand something going into this new year. Is that what we need to stop in the SR, because I'm the big homie of this community. Just because I don't have a lot of subscribers, I need to make that known that I've been doing this for a minute. I've been inspiring people for a minute. I done inspire some of your favorite YouTubers to start their channel. So it's important that I say this. We, what we need to stop in the SR NoFab community is people eating bullshit and rationalizing it just because you didn't watch the site. Your blood is extremely important and you need to respect that. Because without strong blood, you could be on 2,000 days of SR NoFap and you will die from a heart attack. See, your semen is not going to protect you. It's about protecting your blood. That's what's going to make you live a long, fulfilling life. Why don't you look up on Google right now, all of the veins in your body. Look it up. Try to find a picture of how many, all of the veins and what all of the veins look like in your body. I posted a picture in my community post the other day of it and it didn't get too much reception because a lot of y'all don't want to hear new information. You just want to hear about retaining because you ain't ready for that next level information. But I'm not here to appease to those people. 
I'm here to appease to the people that's ready to be next level. I'm not gonna allow my YouTube channel to hold me back because that is exactly what would happen if I decided to not, you know, be a certain way on my platform because I'm worried that people are not ready for this type of information or wouldn't take it in or would disagree or whatever the case. I don't care, right? And that's a whole nother subject. We're gonna get more into that as well, right? I wanna talk about something that's been on my mind today. Women. Some things I wanna put in perspective for y'all about women and about SR and about NoFat, since that's what y'all care about so much. Let me tell you something. Women are very tricky, right? And women feed off of the validation that y'all give them without even realizing it. So I wanna put some things in perspective. Number one I want to put in perspective before I do that is say this. If you are on high days of SR and NoFat and you are not getting woman attraction, you need to understand that there's levels to leveling up and there's levels to your self-development. Meaning that everybody is not the same by default. You should understand that already, but a lot of y'all don't have street smarts. See, you can put me next to somebody that's on 100 days of SR and put me next to him and I'm on 15 days. Got looking scruffy and all that. But guess what? People, women are going to be attracted to my masculine energy. Because I've been working on my masculine energy since I was a kid. Because, see, I was faced with certain things in my life that made me have to become a man at a very young age. So, don't, what I'm trying to say is don't compare yourself to other people. You shouldn't even be worried about woman attraction. It should just be something that just happens one day. Where you're like, okay. But other than that, that should not be your concern at all. Because I've seen people act that way, like, oh, they gas and it's not even real because I've done this, I ain't getting this, or I don't feel like that. Everybody's journey is different. Everybody's upbringing is different. Everybody's day-to-day -day is different. The way we breathe in oxygen is different. The food that we eat is different. The way we think is different. Our aspirations and our visionary mindset is different. Every man is unique. Except for the men that aspire to be like other men. Which is a, a lot of men. But if you were to stand next to me, you watching this video would have stand next to me. And you on 100 days and I'm on 100 days. It would still be very different. The way we do push-ups is different. Right? Everything that we do is different. You know what I'm saying? So understand that. Understand that women, right... It's not even about SR NoFap that makes you more attractive. It's about your character and your principles, right? It's about the things that you are willing to stand on day to day, right? The things that you strongly believe in day to day and how those things came about. Like, I'm just trying to put in perspective that don't compare yourself to nobody. Just stay focused on your journey. And if certain things ain't working for you, then you need to start considering other things. Which is why I'm trying to put in perspective for y'all that diet is very important. Stop putting weak food into your body. See, what I need y'all to do, go to McDonald's, go to Taco Bell. Watch how they prepare these foods. All of it is the same. Right? Everybody's eating the same food. Right? Everybody, for the most part, has the same diet. See, what I enjoy about being on a diet that I'm on is that it, it automatically, by default, makes me extremely different from everybody around me, even more than it would by just me being on SR and NoFat. And that is my goal. I don't want to look and feel nothing like these bots that don't understand the things that I put in perspective in my life. I don't want to be nothing like those people. And I enjoy having a totally different vibe than people that don't respect the things that I respect. And that's what it's really about. 
And what I also want to put in perspective for y'all when dealing with women is that being masculine can be very tricky in a relationship. Because some people would say it's masculine to allow a woman to be emotional and just be grounded in your energy while she's, um, excuse me, emotional. That doesn't make you look masculine. It makes you look weak by tolerating disrespect and making her feel like she can just act a certain way because she's emotional. She won't give you the same leeway when you get triggered and your warrior spirit comes out, when we are warriors by default. No, you can't do that. So why should they be able to do that? Don't tolerate a woman's emotions. And what I want to put in perspective for y'all into this new year is don't look for love from any woman. Get love out of your head completely and look for respect and respect only. I'm not looking for love. And I don't even want love. I never even got it anyway. From my mother and from my family. So I don't even care about love. Me and you are different. You know, you that's watching this video. It may be, it may take some time for you to process that. But for me, sounds like a fair trade. I don't want love. I just want you to highly respect me as a man. And if you do that, I'll do what I got to do to make sure I give you the world and make you feel like a queen. Just give me my respect and make me feel like a king. Right? See, some things that women will do in these low vibrational relationships that I want to put in perspective for y'all and tell y'all that most relationships are, to are, are toxic by default. A lot of y'all don't know that. Example number one. Women blowing things out of proportion to shit test you because... She knows that you're afraid to lose her. She knows that you love her so much and you just want to make her happy. So she'll be emotional. She'll blow things out of proportion and you'll have to clean up the mess. You'll always have to be cleaning up these messes, right? Because she feeds off of that. She feeds off of that validation. See, a lot of these insecure women feed off of the validation that they get from you always cleaning up messes, arguments. Insecure women need constant reassurance, which is why most relationships are toxic because most women are and have low self-esteem and are insecure. So... When women say that they like simps, I want to put something in perspective as well. Women like men that prioritize catering to their woman because most of them are insecure and they need that constant reassurance. What you need to start doing is when a woman is emotional, you need to give her an ultimatum and be very direct as, as you would with another man. If a man is being disrespectful with you, what would you do? You would look that man dead in his eyes if you were a man with balls and tell him, watch your mouth. And if he doesn't, you're going to do what you got to do. So it should be no different when dealing with a woman. You give her that ultimatum. Listen, I need you to calm down because you're making me feel very overwhelmed. I get it, you're emotional, but you're going to have to calm that down and respect me. Because I don't have it in me to deal with that. And you shouldn't be throwing that energy on me like that. And if she doesn't, then you tell her like this. I'm going to give you one more chance to calm down in this conversation. And if you don't, I'm going to break up with you. And do that. Delete everything. Delete pictures. Block her number. Make it very clear that that is exactly what you will do. Because at that point, she's feeding off of you, feeling afraid of that because she's angry and feeling emotional and blowing things out of proportion. Like, you don't understand her and all of those things that women do when they're emotional. If you know, you know. Right? A lot of y'all don't know about certain things because y'all just, you know, look at women and think, oh, you know, she's so beautiful and so sexy and then... She naked in front of me, I'm going to be on Hulk mode and God not putting certain things into perspective. 
Because y'all don't have principles or real character. Y'all just controlled by y'all lust. You know, y'all time and attention goes to the highest bidder, aka the woman that can get your dick the hardest. And if you can't get your hands on that, then then you'll just, you know, settle. That's that's a whole nother conversation. But if you know, you know. Um so I want to put in perspective going into this new year that I will be, you know, obviously extremely raw with the content. Um, I want to put this in perspective too. One thing that you need to understand when being on your high vibrational spiritual journey is that, just take this in, pay attention to this energy I'm in. I'm in a homeless shelter. Making a video to inspire people. Think about what that takes and all of the steps that I had to go through to get to this moment that I'm in right now. To be able to look at this camera dead in the face. And inspire people. With messed up dreads. Right? Wearing the same outfits all the time. Right? Think about all of the steps it took for me to get to this point. To show no fear, no insecurity, no nothing. And be up close and personal. Right? Now, when you're around people that haven't, you know, taken the steps that you took to get to a certain point in your spiritual journey, your energy by default is going to trigger them. They will be able to feel your energy a little bit different from how you feel it. Because when you get to a certain place in your spiritual journey, you just start respecting certain things by default in order to help you keep on ascending on this journey. But people that's not on that journey, they just going to be, they're going to feel your energy very potently. Just from even you walking in the room. Standing around, looking around, you looking at them, when you see them and they see, yo, female, you say, hey, how you doing? Your energy, think about it like this, right? When you was at a low vibration before you started considering certain things, weren't you insecure around people that had certain qualities that they didn't even realize that you saw in them? I'm talking to somebody's soul right now. And you, you even knew that. You even knew that. You see stuff within them that you want for yourself that they don't even see that they just have because they just doing that effortlessly. You have become that. And I need y'all to take this in on this journey. And for the rest of this year, don't get too caught up in fighting the demons that you're fighting. Because you even being conscious enough to fight demons, you already won the fight. Understand that there is no battle to fight. The battle is already won. Because knowing is half the battle. So all you got to do next is just, you know, take it into consideration and do what you need to do. Right? Now, whether you make mistakes or not, if you understand the importance of once you see the truth, there's no turning back. And you already won because you may not have it now, but you eventually will. So anybody that doubts you on your journey and tries to project that energy onto you. They are people that, like I said, feel your energy very potently and are jealous. A hundred percent. Because if somebody was to be doing what I'm doing on this platform. Being as raw as I am, I would love that and respect that. So anybody that has ever thrown me negative energy, I see you for who exactly who you are and I don't even have to know you. Which is why I move the way I move on my channel because I want to, I got trust issues, right? I've been through a lot of things in my life. So I like to come on here a certain type of raw way. So that I can get genuine support. I don't just want any kind of support. I don't just want likes and stuff. So I don't want that. I want it to be real. I want it to be meaningful. So for those that give me good energy, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you and I love you. And it does a lot for me spiritually 
to feel the energy that you send to me because I understand why you do that. You know consciously to comment certain things and give me that energy because it's a high vibrational act to give somebody like me good energy going through what I'm going through, trying to do what I'm trying to do. And I see you and I, and I, and I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? Um, you see the sacrifices I've made diet-wise. I may not look the biggest, right? But it's okay. Because that just goes to show that my physique was an illusion. The diet that I had previously. Because if I was really truly strong, it shouldn't matter that I cut off certain foods. So now that I'm building my body up on this new diet, cutting out so many things. I'm only, right now, let me tell y'all another thing that happened the other day. I've been eating from an Indian restaurant. I told y'all about they told me origi originally that they was using extra virgin olive oil. You fast forward to a couple days ago, called them just to test them. Like, yo, what kind of oil y'all use again? Like, oh, canola. Huh. Oh, so y'all lied. All right. So now I'm only down to eating. I eat from one salad bar, which is a place called Just Salad, because they prepare everything that I get to choose from to put in my bowl with olive oil. That's how on it I am but see it's being grounded and making those kind of sacrifices and having that kind of self-love for yourself it may not look the most pretty right now but stay tuned this is why you need to, I'm trying to show you in real time the importance of having a visionary mindset that is the only way as a man that you can be truly successful is if you see the present moment through a visionary mindset. You must always see everything that is going on in the present moment on your journey of building yourself up as a man. Something that a lot of women don't understand. So don't worry about any woman's perspective of you. And any man... You know, either because those are men that just don't, that aren't truly on the manhood journey, right? Speaking of manhood, that's that's the app that I use to count my days. December was a little rocky month for me. I relapsed like three times. Um, relapsed. The last time I relapsed was um December twenty seventh. So I'm currently on fifteen days. 16 days, one of the two, because today is the 11th or the 12th, one of the two. Um, and my goal is to not relapse on no fat forever. Right? For anybody that has been relapsing for this new month, I want you to say that I want to say to you that I love you and everything is going to be OK. Don't beat you. I know how it feels. You know, there's a part of me. That's low key afraid of relapsing too because I know how guilty it's gonna make me feel. It's gonna make me feel like I threw the whole year away. That's how it feels. So there's some of you that is gonna have a rocky year because a lot of y'all started it off on the wrong foot. And I will do the best that I possibly can to support you on your journey. Just holler at me, ask me any questions, anything you need from me, anything, any content that you want, holler at me. Everything you need is in the description. Join my Discord. Join the big homie Flow family, right? This big homie shit, it come from the Bronx, right? As a kid, we, I used to look up to the big homie on the block. Every, the nigga that everybody respected. You know, rest in peace, Jew Hef. He was the big homie on my block in Mar Haven. He was the, the general of the YGs. You know this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted that type of respect that he had. You know? So this whole big homie shit is just like me calling y'all big homies and me calling myself big homies. It's about as men, we just want respect, which is why we willing to make all of the sacrifices needed to be respected, especially by women, especially by men so that we don't got to take it there and end up, you know, having a battle to the death with the men and all that extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all got some YouTube collabs coming up. I'm looking forward to. And if y'all want me to collab with anybody, 
tell them and tell me and we gonna make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I'm, I'm gonna make some more content for y'all soon. Peace and love.